What is up, awesome tubers? It's your boy David Awesome, and I'm sitting here with your girl Crazy Ginger, and I'm watching her play some Borderlands 2 right now. But today I'm coming at you with another interesting topic. Today we're going to be talking about urban legends in Missouri, and these are the five urban legends in Missouri that will keep you awake at night. So let's start this list off. Before we start, I want to say I'm getting this information off only in your state.com. And before we watch this video, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy this video and like the topic. Also, if you know of any uh, urban legends in Missouri, let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, let's get started. Number one, we have the Devil's Chair. Bum, bum, bum. The Devil's Chair, or a Haunted Chair, is a common legend, but the one specific to Missouri involves what is known as the Bar Chair in Kirksville at the Highland Park Cemetery. The legend goes that those who sit in the chair at midnight, or Halloween, or during a full moon, will either be punished or rewarded for bravery. Another suggests a hand will rise from a grave and drag you down into hell. Since all the devil's chairs are in cemeteries, it's easy to imagine getting spooked by such a tale. However, in truth, these chairs were most likely placed there as monuments or even just places for mourners to sit. Or it really is a devil's chair, so beware if you want to try to sit on one of these bad boys. Yeah, I think it's just a place for people to go and sit and, and be with their loved ones for a little bit. Yeah, that's kind I of agree. Crazy. Is it? Yeah, that's a creepy uh, looking chair there. On to number two, we have Momo the Monster, and this is not to be confused with... Not to be confused with this creepy looking thing that some of you might have heard about recently. But anyways, number two, Momo the Monster. Momo, which is short for Missouri Monster, is an urban legend similar to Bigfoot. Supposedly, Momo is about seven feet tall with a pumpkin-shaped head, glowing orange eyes, furry and black with hair covering its face. It is reported to have a significant bad odor and has been seen up and down the Mississippi River. It is said to kill animals and purposely scare humans. Oh, so, so it's like the Mississippi River Monster. Yep, Momo the Monster. Number three, we have Zombie Road. And the stories associated with Zombie Road outside of St. Louis are many, while the original name of the road was uh, Loyler Ford Road. It started being referred to as Zombie Road in the 50s. This is perhaps due to the stories of a zombie killer, a creepy guy who lived in a shack in the woods and would attack young lovers looking for a place to be alone. As the years passed, the chilling stories continued, including ghosts, vanishings, and strange noises. One of the most spine-tingling may be the frequently retold story about the ghost of a man who was hit by a train and now haunts the area. The chilling part is that there is a real story in which the wife of a local judge named Della Hamilton McCulloch was actually hit by a train and died in 1876. Since there are no other records of anyone being killed by a train in this area, it is widely believed that Miss McCulloch may just be the actual famed ghost. <laughs> Interesting. Zombie Road. You wouldn't want to be lost on that road in, at midnight or 3 a.m. or any time of night. Uh, number four, we have Dead Body Under the Bed. The legend goes that a couple. Yeah, the hotel one. The legend goes that a couple checks into a hotel throughout the night notice a strange odor. They call to complain only to find the source of the smell is near the bed. Upon further examination, a dead body is found stuffed into the box spring. The couple has been sleeping above it all night. The spooky part of this story is that it actually happened in a few places, including Kansas City. The body of a man was found at the Capri Motel in 2003. In this case, the man had been staying in the Smelly Motel for three days. You. So that just goes to tell you when you go into a hotel, awesome tubers, make sure you check the mattress for dead bodies. Or you could be sleeping on one next time you go to a hotel. And last but not least, at number five, we have the Limp Mansion. 
The Limp Mansion currently operates as a restaurant and inn, and even the site of a murder mystery dinner theater, and people flock there to see if they can observe something creepy. This 19th century mansion in St. Louis is said to be one of the 10 most haunted places in America. Based on the several suicides and other deaths within the Limp family at this location, the building is said to be haunted by several other spirits. For example, the attic is said to be haunted by the monkey face boy. It was actually the illegitimate son of William Limp Jr. who had been hidden away to avoid disgrace due to the scandal because he had been born deformed, actually with Down Syndrome. So sadly back then, if you had Down Syndrome, that's what they did to you. Uh, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up. Uh, if you, like I said, if you know of any other Missouri urban legends, please let me know in the comments. I would be interested to read them. And if I could get some more Missouri urban legends together, I can do another another urban legends video on Missouri. But part two, I've enjoyed reading through this. I gotta say my personal favorite on here would probably be Zombie Road. It's pretty interesting. Uh, Momo the monster is so-so for me because I'm not quite convinced in Bigfoot, but I know there's a lot of uh, stories about Bigfoot, so you never know. But until next time, awesome tubers, I'm signing off, and I'm going to let Crazy Ginger say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. And uh, remember to stay awesome.